everyone and welcome to today's video. This video is part of my declutter series where I go through my collection, declutter things that I no longer use and keep only things that I will use. So let's get into it. So today we'll be going through my The Balm Cosmetics collection. I will say this will probably not be my most cutthroat declutter ever. I have a lot of things that I'll probably hold on to because they're mostly powder products, which will be good for quite some time. But I'll have to go through everything and see if there's something that I no longer will use at all that I'm definitely going to let go of that. And I do see a couple of lip products here that have probably gone bad. Now the Balm Cosmetics has really high quality products. They're known for their fun kind of retro type packaging, which is probably why I've kept so many of these because I just think the packaging is super fun. But I do need to let go of some of these. So let's take a look what could go first. Now this one I picked up from, from my empties pile. So this is their Mad Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I absolutely love it, but this one is an empty. So I was going to include it in my empties video, but I'll share it here. I usually purchase these two packs. This adds a ton of volume. And honestly, it's just one of the best mascaras ever. It doesn't flake. There's a little bit of smudging, but I have that with every single mascara, just the way my eye is shaped. But all in all, one of my all-time favorite mascaras. Let's take a look at the lip products next because I think these are probably quite old. First up, I have the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain. I believe this is in the shade Namaste. This has a scent, so I know it's definitely gone bad. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag once. I, it's probably a mini size. This was super creamy and it is a lip stain. So after you wipe off the cream, it still leaves a stain in there. I definitely don't need any more lip products, but if I was in the market for one, I did like this one. Next thing I'm not even going to swatch, but this is Staniac, their hint of tint for cheeks and lips. Kind of like an all around product that has clearly gone bad because it's turned into jelly. So this was a fun one. I used it quite a bit. Now there's a little bit left and that has gone bad, but I used it mostly on my lips. I'm not a big a cheek stain person, mostly because it's really hard to blend in cheek stains typically, but this one was really nice on the lips. But yes, it's gone bad, has to go. Now things that I'm definitely going to keep are the original highlighter. This is Mary Lou Menizer. <laughs> Everyone and their cousin had these when they came out. It is simply a stunning highlighter. Now you can see it a little bit there. It doesn't look too glittery. It's really glowy and definitely deserved all the hype that came its way. And I still think it's an excellent highlighter. Now the next favorite one I have is Cindy Luminizer. And this one has a more pinky tone. And I'm also going to hold on to this because I do like this a lot as a blush topper. Now, both of these are really old, but they're still working just fine. So these have a really long shelf life. And I'm also keeping them because, you know, memories. But then the last one I have is Betty Luminizer. And this is the bronzing banded. And for me, this is way too deep as a highlighter. However, as a bronzer topper, it is really stunning and I'm also going to hold on to them. I believe they at least at some point came as a set of three, so you could get all of these in like one palette, but they are really good. And like I said, shelf life is excellent. Now I have a bunch of these minis here that I believe I've gotten them all in my Ipsy bags. First up from the Balm Voyage, I believe these are from Palette. This is Kua Kari Bisha Shadow and Luminizer. This one looks pretty much like Mary Luminizer. I don't need this one in my collection since I already have a bunch of things. And this was part of the Balm Voyage Volume 2 palette. So I'm gonna let go of this one. I took it with me on a trip hoping I'd use it, but I didn't, so I don't need it. I'll see if someone else would like it. 
Then there's Petal to the Metal Vava Room Cream Eyeshadow. And this one might be quite old. Yeah, it's no longer creamy, it's dried up. So this was from Petal to the Metal Palette, Life in the Fast Lane, shade Turbo. It is really pretty, but it has now dried up, so I'm gonna let go of it. This one I am keeping, it is their Take Home the Bronze. And this was in the shade Oliver, which I believe is the lightest shade. This was called Oscar at some point, and don't know if there's something going on with the Oscars, so they had to rename it because it pretty much looks like the Oscars. So here's that. It's a very light colored bronzer, a very beautiful formula. I'm holding on to this one. Then there's a couple of blushes, and I believe this one, Stamina, is in this palette. So I'll take a look at those together. And then third date, a blush is, I believe, a newer one for me. And this is a really beautiful glowy blush. I am going to hold on to it. It's right here. It's got that like peachy pink, beautiful shade. So definitely going to hold on to this one. Beautiful formula. If you like kind of glowy blushes, I think you would really like this one. And then from their Autobalm Day to Night palette, which I don't think I have, is this one. It is the Lombard Street shade. It's very powdery, very deep shade. I'm going to hold on to it. I'll see if I'll get some use out of it. If not, I'm gonna let go of it. But it is a very pigmented, very powdered formula. So if you have day to night palette, definitely tell me if it's the same in that palette, if it's this powdery. But the pigmentation is definitely amazing. I'll hold on to this. Now then I have these two metal palettes. This is Picture Perfect from the Autobalm collection. And now that I think of it, I believe the Autobalm day to night palette is similar to these two Autobalm palettes that I have. So here is Picture Perfect. And then I have Girl Power. And Picture Perfect is an eyeshadow palette. It has like a neutral primer, like a cream primer that I've never used, and then some beautiful shades. And then this Girl Power palette, it has some beautiful blushes. And I don't know, Bleaker Street could probably work as a bronzer as well. And then there's a bit of a blush topper. I like these both, and I do like the packaging. I think Autobound palettes in general are perfect for traveling. This is a sturdy packaging that you can take with you when you travel, so holding on to both of them. Now here's probably one of the older palettes that I have in my collection. So I was honestly thinking of letting go of Foiled Again palette until I opened it and swatched it. And those shades are just so beautiful. I have red handed captured and locked up here. And I love these shades and also uh, the mattes look felt still very creamy. So I think I'm gonna still hold on to this. Maybe I'll put it on my vanity and see if I can get some more use out of it. I know this was a very well-loved palette in my collection. It has some sort of stain on it too, but I love this formula, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Here's a, another palette. This one's a little bit newer, I think, to me. I think I bought it from Ipsy Shop as like a points purchase that I had expiring. I've never used it and this matte formula is really good so I'm going to use it. So this is Meet Matte Trimony. I think there's Meet Matte several different palettes but this one is a full matte one so I'm gonna hold on to it and try to get some use out of it. Now this declutter is definitely not going very well when it comes to the palettes. No, I love them all. So here is another palette that's a little bit newer to me, the Balm and the Beautiful Eyeshadow Palette. I think I got this also in a BoxyCharm or Ipsy bag. I've gotten several Balm, the Balm products in Ipsy bags, which I don't mind at all. So I've used some of these shades, and now that I look at it, I think I can let go of this. I don't really need these shades. I think I have all of them in different palettes. And the only one that was super shimmery is the shade Autograph. And I love the foiled palette more. So I have the roll credits and Autograph here. And the foiled again palette had just so much more in it. So I think I'm gonna let go of the Balm and the Beautiful just because it has those repeat shades. And none of them are really that remarkable to me that I wanna keep the whole palette for them. Then I have In the Balm of Your Hand, Volume 2. There was Volume 1 and Volume 2. 
and this one is really pretty i've kept it mostly for these blush and bronzer shades and that's why i'm going to keep it still i have a repeat here meet matrimony that's already in the other palette and this one is in meet matt adore so that's another one of those meet matt palettes but i do want to keep bahama mama which i don't have elsewhere then down boy frat boy are really nice too and in stain is a little bit deep for me but it is a beautiful blush as well that's just one swipe so if i use it i have to be very careful with it but i'm going to keep this for those cheek shades because these eyeshadow shades here are not that special to me and here is mary luminizer which i already have but I don't have any of these, so I'm gonna keep this for those. Now I know I'm going to keep the Will Powder Blush Quad. I love this one. It's got such beautiful shades and it is definitely one of my favorite face palettes. And here's the Will Powder Mini. And this one is in the shade Stamina, which you know, I already have there. I don't need this mini, so I'm gonna let go of this. I was thinking if it had been dedication, I maybe would have kept it because that is such a beautiful shade. But stamina, I don't need a mini for traveling. I have other minis that I can travel with. So the dedication is just so stunning. I absolutely love this shade. It is beautiful. It's got this slight shimmer. Oh, it's just stunning and worth the weight is more of a blush topper, but both are very beautiful. I do like this enough to keep it, but I feel like when I swatched it, it wasn't as good as it was before, but it may be on its way out, but I'm gonna hold on to it until it is unusable. Now, the last two palettes I have are What's the Tea palettes. I have Hot Tea and Iced Tea. I believe I purchased these separately and they were not part of any of the Ipsy palettes. I didn't love these, I think, the idea that you have these eyelid primers was something different, but I just, I didn't love them like I hoped, especially this hot tea palette. It just, it wasn't for me. I feel like the most original shade was this tell all. This I don't have in a bunch of other palettes. It is really pretty, kind of this brown blue. And then in here, kiss and tell in the iced tea palette is really pretty and he said she said but on a whole i just don't know if i love these but i'm going to hold on to them just because it does have one of my names on it so i do like the packaging i have a couple of shades that i do really like but i don't know if i'd get another one of these palettes if they came up with the third one I guess I, I guess the idea of having hot tea and iced tea is just a duo palette. On the whole, I don't know if I'd go out of my way anymore to purchase the Balm palettes because there's a lot of repetition in them. And I think the packaging is the novelty why I purchased so many. And I currently have such a large collection that I don't need any more palettes. But this formula is really good. It's just that I feel like I have so many repeats in these palettes. So I had 21 items from the Balm Cosmetics. I am keeping 14 and letting go of seven. Now this was not by any means a the most successful declutter, but I am getting rid of things that I no longer use here. And I honestly should have probably let go of a couple of more palettes, the What's the Teas, but I might add them to my memory box in a little bit once I've tried them a few more times. So we could count those as declutter as well. But I'm still gonna keep them here as things that I'm keeping because I will be using them for a little bit. And I know I'll use these minis. I'm gonna see if I'll use the Autobomb Day Tonight one. If I don't use this, then I'll declutter that as well. But I just love the Balm packaging. I think they have such beautiful items. The formula is really good. I will say there's a lot of repetition in the eyeshadow palettes, but I think you, if you buy any of them, you won't be disappointed. They have really good formulas. It just comes into whether that style of color story is your thing. I don't think you get anything super exciting color-wise in these palettes, but that's uh, probably what most people prefer anyway so i do recommend the balm cosmetics i mean if you have never tried mary luminizer i highly recommend it 
it does deserve all the hype it's been given. It is so good. And I also really enjoy Cindy Luminizer too. But these were all the items from the Balm Cosmetics in my collection. Are there any favorites of yours that were not mentioned in here? Any products that you think I should try from the Balm Cosmetics? Let us know in the comment section. But these were all the items from the Balm in my collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, I hope you subscribe. And if you like these kind of declutter videos, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. It would help me ever so much. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. <music>